Hello guys, today I'm here with a new tutorial, and in this video, I'm gonna show, how to implement the Apple VTD function on macOS for desktops and laptops. So before starting, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, then please go and subscribe to our channel and stay connected for the latest updates. So without a further ado, let's get started. Intel's VTD feature provides kernel DMA protection which is required by a few Thunderbolt devices such as Antelope. By enabling VTD on macOS, a few additional Thunderbolt devices can be made to work such as Apple's Thunderbolt 2 Ethernet adapter. VTD function is needed by audio interfaces mostly, Thunderbolt drives and devices. VTD is required for working network adapters, including built-in and PC-based. It is also required by FireWire as well. However, starting with macOS Monterey, basic devices like Ethernet also requires VTD function or the Ethernet won't work. Since macOS Ventura, enabling VTD is a must. Requirements for enabling VTD function on macOS is a VTD-compatible motherboard, an Intel VTD-compatible CPU. Generally, from the year 2012 and later, AMD CPUs are not supported yet. Firstly, let me show you the current version of macOS. The current macOS version installed on this machine is macOS Sequoia 15.0. Now, let me show you that. Currently VTD isn't enabled on this machine. In IO Reg, the VTD node isn't available. Also the DMAR table isn't available in Mac IASL. Now to enable VTD restart your machine, and boot to BIOS. Now in BIOS, look for VTD option, and then enable it. After enabling VTD, exit your BIOS saving changes. Now, after restarting, mount your ESP, and open config.plist. Now, go to the kernel section, and then the quirks tab. Here, make sure to disable the disable IO mapper quirk, and disable IO mapper mapping quirk. Now go to the NVRAM section, then select the last UUID. And here, make sure not to use Dart0 boot arg. Now, save the config.plist. And then restart your machine. And while restarting, reset the NVRAM at least once. Now after restarting, if you do not see Apple VTD or have a network issue, 
you need to fix your DMAR table. In my case, VTD is available, but I'm facing network issues on a few systems, typically desktops with less than 64 GB and laptops with less than 16 GB of memory. When you enable VTD which is required for some major functioning of a few particular devices such as Antelope Audio Interface and other Thunderbolt capable devices, and a few Ethernet cards, the system starts acting weird and all of a sudden, the network devices no longer work including Ethernet and Wi-Fi. When checking the devices and system preferences, the network adapters are in a loop, infinite link up and link down but never connect. In addition, the Wi-Fi can be disrupted if you enable additional devices in BIOS, such as iGPU. Gigabyte motherboards are one of the most common with these issues. Mostly, you wouldn't need to remove the reserved memory region as enabling VTD only will suffice. But if your OEM DMAR table contains any reserved memory regions, you must remove it or the system will have Ethernet and Wi-Fi devices in loop. Now to fix the DMAR table, open Mac IASL, then open the DMAR table using File, New from ACPI option, and then select the DMAR. Now find the memory regions and delete them. In my case, the memory region starts from line 53 and ends at line 67. For example, for this machine, the OEM DMAR table has only one reserved memory region. If your DMAR table has multiple reserved memory regions, you must remove them. Upon deleting the memory regions, the DMAR table should look similar as shown. Now click on Compile button and look for errors in the compiler summary. If there's an error, fix it and again click on Compile. Now, save the changes to the SSDT using File, Save as option. Make sure to save the SSDT as .aml, a CPI machine language. Also. It's mandatory that you install whatever devices you want, like the PCIe devices and especially the RAM. If you tend to change the devices over time or expand the RAM later, you'll need to drop the modified DMAR table, load the OEM table and remove the reserved memory region and then inject the modified table and drop OEM table. Now, to install the SSDT, mount your ESP. And then place the SSDT DMAR, in the ACPI folder of the EFI's OC folder. After placing the SSDT, open config plist, and then add the SSDT to MAR, to the config plist. After adding the SSDT, make sure to arrange it in proper order. Now, go to the delete section of ACPI tab, and then create the following entry. After making the changes, save the config plist, and then restart your machine. And while restarting, reset the NVRAM at least once.
And now after restarting, let me show you that the VTD is now enabled. And as you can see, the Apple VTD node is available, which means Apple VTD is enabled on this machine. So that was it, hope it was useful. Consider like for the video, and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, just comment down below, or create a thread on our forum. Make sure to check out the forum for in-depth guides. Thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.